Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing yet another Dust and Disgust. I feel like I've been pretty consistent with the Dust and Disgust videos lately. You guys should be proud of me because that also means that I've been dust actually dusting my fingers uh, and not putting it off for like months and months and months on end. Here we are, grab your figures, your brushes, and um, let's introduce today's talk topic and talk about it. So this video is actually going to be uploaded pretty late. Uh, if you've read the title, you know what I mean. And maybe like a whole bunch of these figures are already going to be released by the time this video is released. So sorry about that, but this is also nothing new. <laughs> if you've been to my channel before, I'm like always late to the game with everything. But anyways, today we are going to talk about the announced figures in the 2024 Wand Fest. So here we go. I actually went ahead and tried to categorize them because I know in the past when I talked about um, when I did videos like these about figure announcements, I like would talk about Nendroids, then I would talk about scales, then I would talk about Nendroids, and then a pop-up parade, and then a scale, and this time I tried to organize it a little more. So first we're going to talk about the Nendroids that are releasing, and then the pop-up parades, and then the scales, and there are some figures that are like non-scales, but they're not pop-up parades either, so they're somewhere in here. I think they're like meshed in with something I don't know anyways without further ado please make sure you like and subscribe and please make sure you go follow me on Instagram you can find the link to it in the description box or my Instagram is at peach dot n like the letter n dot cheeks because somebody decided to steal peach and cheeks so whoever that is thanks a lot anyways here we go let's start off with the nendroids i'm mostly these like one two three first four i'm like insanely excited about and you will know why or you'll find out why if you know what series i like if you've been here before but the first one is the bungo stray dogs of course oh brother here we go again she's talking about bungo stray dogs again the bungo stray dogs dazai and chuya age 15 androids now i know people are kind of like 50 50 on this because this is like another set of dazai and chuya and not like another character however we did recently get the ango and otosaku nendroids released and then we um pre-orders opened up for the rampo nendroids so slowly but surely we are getting the other characters i know rampo was like one of the characters in that series that everybody wanted an android made of and we finally got it so anyways does i entry of 15 i i understand why people are upset because this is another does i Chia figure but as someone who is a die hard sokoku shipper I can't help but to be so happy and I love this arc so much and yeah I'm a sucker I'm a sucker for them so I obviously pre-orders already came out so I obviously pre-ordered them so moving on Noragami fans where are you at because holy mother of god we got we got a Yato Nendroid announced oh my god y'all don't know how big this is there is only one yato figure out there and it is right over here <laughs> um aftermarket price on it is like it's a joke it's it's like you can't you look at the price and you either faint or you laugh because there's no fucking way you are charging that much for a figure um especially that old too this is like so insane because noragami doesn't get a lot of attention for some reason whenever if i do hear about people that mention noragami they typically mention how hard the like opening goes i don't i don't even know what i'm saying at this point but we got a yato nendroid and holy shit that that is huge like that is huge like you don't understand how huge this is um unless you are an origami fan and i think it has to do mainly because the manga recently ended unfortunately anyways moving on that was long-winded next one we are winning at least in the nendroid category and like right now i'm not even gonna like i don't even care that i said that i was going to try to hold back on nendroids because this is this this would be criminal not to pre-order and it is the tomoe nendroid from kamisama kiss tomoe shoujo fans lately have been winning 
they they've been they've been eating so good we are being fed so freaking good i'm so excited tomoe and then the next one being a nana <laughs> a nendroid yes you heard that right nana is getting a nendroid i'm so excited uh i don't think i'm as excited for a nendroid announcement than i was when they announced the scale figures but i am still so excited nonetheless especially because they're getting it, it seems like and i mainly think this is correct me if i'm wrong i mainly think this is because of tiktok's influence i want to say with all these anime not just uh, nana but i think that's why a lot of them are getting attention now which i'm so 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 happy about so they announced a nana on android but they haven't announced a hachi one i'm pretty sure they're going to announce a hachi one later on in the year maybe but i, I was kind of shocked that they wouldn't just do that like that's that's weird to me the next one i am excited for but i don't think i'm going to pre-order it and there's like a couple of things that kind of look weird to me in the prototype photos uh hopefully they fit oh my god i haven't even started dusting <laughs> i just realized um <laughs> holy shit can y'all see how excited i am oh where was i oh my god the next nendroid i am excited for just because it's bringing attention to more shoujo anime um but i, I don't know if i'm necessarily going to pre-order it because while i do like this series i'm not like a diehard fan of it and there are a couple of well there's like one main thing at least that the prototype looked off on what did that make sentence make sense i don't know the prototype looked off in the images and that is the usui nendroid from maid sama the main thing that seems very off about him is his hair and i feel like everybody kind of noticed this his hair is supposed to be blonde however i don't know i haven't actually looked i don't know if it's more brown in the manga or not so i don't know if they're trying to follow the manga or, or what but i feel like that's rarely ever the case where they follow the manga art so i don't know the hair kind of threw me off and then somebody in the comments, I can't remember if it was on the My Figure Collection site or if it was like in the Twitter replies or quote retweets or whatever. Somebody said he looks like SpongeBob. Here's the image and I will let you sit with that for a second. I feel like I should put like a, like a, a side by side of SpongeBob and Usui. Do y'all see it? Because I do. And now I can't unsee it at all so there's that that kind of ruined it for me too aren't there like spongebob nendroids too that were released that's so funny um so if you have a spongebob nendroid i don't think there's any use in buying a usui nendroid because <laughs> you technically already have one it's like it's like spongebob in another life the next one i kind of saw this one coming anyway i just didn't know when it would be announced it is the hikaru and kaoru nendroids from Orin high school host club I love these twins so much. However, I don't think I'm going to be pre-ordering this one either, just because I mainly just like uh, Tamaki and, what's her name, Haru. So I think those are the two main ones that I want and I'm okay with. So like, even if like Honey Senpai came out, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be getting him either. Hopefully we get, I, I doubt it, but hopefully we get scales. I think it's more likely that we get pop-up parades for these series, but maybe a scale one day who knows and then next up we have two card capture sakura nendroids and one is of yue which y'all are gonna hate me i kind of didn't care for him like at all like in the series i don't know why he was he was kind of weird to me sorry <laughs> but um we have yue and i know a lot of people are excited about him uh the other one is a sakura nendroid doll we're still in the Nendroid category, but this is a Sakura Nendroid doll. And I think she's so freaking cute. The only problem is I promised myself I would not get any more Nendroid dolls because unless it's like from a, but I really, I don't know. Like sometimes I say I'm definitely not going to get it. And then sometimes I say, maybe this will be my last one, but we all know that's That's a lie too, but I'm, I'm maybe not going to get her. But she's like so cute i i love her eyes especially how they're painted i think this is um i think this goes for all the sakura nendroids 
or an android dolls that are out there like there's a specific way they paint her eyes that i really like they're, they're like the color's very bold i don't know I mean, they look so pretty um maybe it's just like maybe it's just the eye color that gets me i don't know it's just i don't i like it i like it a lot but anyways okay the last two nendroids are from series that i haven't watched yet but i've heard such good things about them that I'm excited for them to be released and I haven't even watched series yet. Do you know what I mean? And it's one of those things where it's like, I haven't watched the series, but I know I'm going to like it based on what I've seen. And it is a Nagi from Sign of Affection. Uh, hopefully by the time, hopefully by the time they release, I have start, at least started the series so I can really decide if I want them or not. And hopefully if I do end up liking the series and I haven't pre-ordered the Nendroid yet, hopefully they've announced like a scale or like a pop-up large or something like that. You know, something similar to a scale in, in size. And then the next one is from Chiha Yafuru and it is of Ayase. And I know people are excited about that too. And I've heard so many good things about that series. And I feel like if I start watching it, I will also fall in love with the series. <laughs> but now we're done with the Nendroid category and we are going to be moving on to the pop-up parades. One of these pop-up parades in this list I have already pre-ordered and I will let you know what that one is when we get to it. <laughs> so the first one is so exciting and so adorable when I saw them. I'm kind of trying to hold back on it though. I don't know how successful I will be with that, but it, it is the Sakura and Tomoyo um, pop-up parades from Cardcaptor Sakura and they look so adorable together. I love their dynamic and I love their relationship and I love how much of a huge fan along with like great friend Tomoyo is to Sakura. I, it's so, it's, it's funny, but it's so endearing and sweet and I, I love it so much. So this next one is the one that I did definitely pre-order and I screamed when I saw it because of a little feature or like little bonus that it, that it comes with. It is the Mitsumi and Sosuke pop-up parades from Skip and Loafer. The concept of the figure is taken from the opening of the anime, which is like so adorable and so cute. And I'm so obsessed with it. It's just, it's nothing but like happy vibes. I love it. It's, it's so nice. And it reminds me of spring and it's, ah, oh, I love it so much. Not only was a pop-up parade announced for them, but in on certain shops, you can either buy Sosuke or you could buy Me To Me. You can buy these figures separate. And usually that's the case, right? With um, figures or at least pop-up parades. Even if it's like a pair, you buy each character separate. Does that make sense? Okay. In this case, with the Skip and Loafer pop-up parades, there's an option where you can buy them as a set. So you can buy both of them together in one transaction. And if you do that, there's a bonus that comes with it where I guess the hands come detach and you get like a replacement hand and they're actually holding hands like in the series, like they're dancing together. Ah! <laughs> they're like immediately pre-order. The next one is also an honorable mention just because this is a shoujo series that is, that I'm not obsessed with. Like I don't, I know a lot of people are obsessed with the series, um, especially this character. I like the character, sure, but I'm not like, uh, I'm, eh. I'm like, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to pre-order this figure um, because I also think if I was that in love with the character, I would have pre-ordered other figures that were available of her that came out, like maybe the buddy figure, which like everybody loves. <laughs> and I think at this point has two variations, but it is Taiga from Toradora. This just made me happy and excited because it, again, it's like a nostalgic thing. It's like one of those animes that I first watched when I started getting into anime. So I don't know, it just, it made me feel some type of way. So I added it to the list. We are done with the pop-up parades and we are moving on to the scale figures. Okay, so the first scale is one of those ones where of a character where I'm like, I need to hold back on it because there's like a million figures of this character. And if I keep buying this character, cause they have like a shit ton of really, really good concepts. So it's like, if I keep buying each concept that I like a lot, 
I'm gonna end up with a room dedicated to just this figure, which honestly wouldn't be a bad thing. However, we do need to hold back, right? Um, and it is the one seven scale Hatsune Miku figure by Design Coco, I think it is. And she's like in this cute clown outfit. And she's got, I guess this like ballerina pose and the base is really cute and looks up like small which is nice and the design of the base is also really cute and i love her hairstyle and i love the little paint on her or her little makeup and she's so cute and i love the patterns on her dress and i really really want her but i know if i get her then i'm gonna get a different one eventually and a different one and a different <laughs> i'm like very very conflict conflicted okay the next one is from a really really good series and I recommend everybody watching it it's more it's newer it's a new it's a newer anime series but it is Licorice Recoil and it is of uh, Kurumi I love the concept and everything but from the photos that I've seen her paint looks a little off the, the colors look very pale and dull but again that's like from the first photo that I've seen of her I haven't seen any other photos of her so maybe it's just like a camera thing but the concept is really cute she's got like the walnut costume head or mascot head next to her and she's eating her snacks and she's like on her computer she's sitting Chris Carras um I think she's so cute and I guess she comes with a background as well I'm not sure if that's just for display purposes and promote to promote the actual figure but I don't know if she'll or maybe it'll be like a bonus if you pre-order the figure I feel like if they didn't add the little walnut mascot and the other stuff around her like the computer and whatnot I feel like it would have been very much a noodle stopper figure <laughs> next up oh my god you guys these I am like <laughs> I'm like in awe um I am very excited because they announced scale figures. I think what they're like once, uh, yeah, one seven scale figures of Madoka and Homura from Madoka Magica. At the time of filming this, Homura isn't painted, but Madoka is. And these figures are by Eastream. So I know they're going to be so fucking pricey. But you guys, when I tell you the concept is immaculate, I like the, this there's no question about this this is going these two are going to be pre-ordered holy i speechless speechless the the base is the oh it's so good it's so good it's so good i cannot wait for these to like really oh my god they're so good you guys um that's all i'm gonna say about that because i have like nothing to nothing else to add like nothing else productive to add like every time I think of this I just make noises I am so excited for th oh these are so good these look so freaking good you guys um okay moving on <laughs> um the next one I am not is also by eStream and it's also a one seven scale and I don't think I'm going to I'm gonna say I don't I'm I'm gonna say I'm not going to pre-order it but I I really really like the concept and I love the colors and how like how bright, just, I don't know, the stars around the base or around the figure. It is the one seven scale Megumin figure from Konosuba. And I think it's not just like the regular Konosuba series. I think it's from the new series. I, I think it's like dedicated to Megumin and it's called An Explosion on This Wonderful World. I mean, I love how bright she looks and how much like sparkle there is around her and around the base and but not only that but like in her eyes and there's like her outfit is like blowing in the wind she looks so cute i love her so much i've been wanting to go back and rewatch konosuba because i think i've only watched the first season and i stopped at that but i want to rewatch it and then i want to catch up to this an explosion on this wonderful world next up this one's a little tricky for me because when i first started the series <laughs> Okay, when I started episode one, I was so into it. And I think this is like, this is how a lot of people feel as well. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Episode one hooked me in. Like it had me in a chokehold. There was a lot of thrill, a lot of like anticipation. A lot, it was so good, so good. I was like, I want a figure of these characters. I think it's, it's so cool. They're so cool. I, I love them so much and I love 
where this series is going after one episode. But then the other episodes came out and I lost interest so fast. I tried giving it a chance after episode one. I was like, okay, it's only episode two, three. It'll pick up, it'll pick up. And I just, I couldn't get into it. I couldn't, the light died out so fast. But every time I think of episode one, I'm like, shit, dude, that was so good. Like, do I want a figure of these characters even though I don't care about the series anymore, like at all. I should probably tell you what it is. It is the Oshinoko Ai, Aqua, and Ruby figure and it's by Kadokawa, I wanna say. And it's just, it's I and it's like Ruby and Aqua when they're babies and they're like cuddling around their mom and like hugging her and there's a lot of like um, movement in it, I wanna say, with the kids at least, or they're like, jumping her or tackling her into a hug or whatever and it's so it's such a really really pretty concept but I don't know if I want it anymore because I don't care for the series anymore I feel like I I was the most interesting character in that series too and after spoiler spoiler after she dies it's like okay like none of you are interesting anymore so yeah, I don't know if, I don't think I am at this point, but eh. Okay, the next two are from the same series and I haven't watched the series, but this is another one where I'm like, when I start this series, I know for a fact that I'm gonna love it based on what I've seen on the internet. I've seen like mini clips and stuff and I love, 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 love the art style and the uh, character designs as well. The figures I'm talking about are, the first one is of, these are both from the Apothecary Diaries, okay, newer anime, and they are both of Mau Mau. The first one I'm looking at is Mau Mau Garden Party version. She looks so smug, but also very elegant, and I just, I think, she's not painted yet, but I think so far she looks really, really adorable. The next one is, is by Good Smile Company and she's kind of got, she's got this mellow look on her face and she's got like, she has her foot propped up and her outfit is flowing down. It's like spreading out. She's holding a flower and she looks so cute. I love her and I love how her face, her hair falls to the side of her face um, when she's tilting it. So cute. This one is also not painted yet, but Good Smell makes pretty good scale figures, I think, from what I remember. <laughs> um, so next one is an honorable mention. And I don't know if this is a scale because where I'm looking doesn't say if it is or not. Uh, I don't plan on pre-ordering it just because I feel like there are better figures of, of the series out there and I'm not like obsessed with it, but I wanted to mention it because it was, again, something very nostalgic and I know a lot of people like it as well. And I do like the series, I don't hate it, but I'm not uh, as attached to it. But it is the Your Lie in April, uh, Arima and Kaori figures by Hobby Max. So I thought that was really cute. We've got Arima with his headphones in and with, I, I wanna say, yeah, that's a music sheet. He's got his like little music sheet for his piano. The base color is pretty nice. I really love it. It's like a watercolor wash, very cute. It's got the darks and the lights and it's got blues and greens and purples and aquas or whatever. And then um, we've got Cowdy. Uh, I feel like this is like an iconic pose of hers. I feel like there are other figures of her with the same pose, I think. But yeah, she's, she's super cute as well. Yeah, but I also think that there are other figures of her at least that are a lot better. So um, just an honorable mention with that one. Moving on to the final figure that I'm excited about. And I guess I should have mentioned this one when I talked about the first Miku figure, but this last one is a one fourth scale Miku figure by Stronger and it is a street style figure or figure, it's a street style outfit that she's wearing. And I think she looks so good, y'all. She just looks so sick and I really do want her. But again, it's one of those things where it's like, 
if I say yes to this, then I'm gonna say yes to 50 other Mikus. I already like the clown one. I don't, maybe I like this one more. I don't know. The only thing with this one is at certain angles, I think, I don't, I don't know if it's like a sculpting issue or whatever, but I think at certain angles, her neck looks really weird because it's like craned up or something. And it looks, I don't know, the neck area looks really weird. I don't know. Um, but it's a sick figure nonetheless, and I love the outfit, and I love how, oh, Miku figures know how to sculpt hair. Or like, Miku sculptors know how to sculpt hair. Because they always do this thing with her pigtails where they just make it flow so smoothly, and they add these like thin strands along with thick ones, and it looks so, so, so clean and so satisfying to look at. And then with this particular figure, since she's like sitting on the ground, her like pigtails are so long and they just flow and they spread around her and her sh shoes are so sick and her outfit is so sick. And I feel like if I bought this figure, I would most definitely display her next to my Asuka Radio Eva figures. And eventually when I get him in my Kaoru Radio Eva figure, because they also wear street styled clothing. <sighs> So there's that and I'm in like a constant mental battle with myself where it's like you don't need it, you don't need it, you don't need it, you need it, you need it, you need it. It would look so good next to those figures. Oh my god, get it, get it. Like I, I only own one Miku figure y'all and it is the Trick or Miku figure. I've mentioned that a million times before but that's how much I've been holding back. Okay, that's how much I've been holding back. There's so many good Miku figures out there and I've been holding back. Um, but. I don't know if this one is gonna get me. So maybe I'll pre-order it, maybe not. So that is the winter, the 2024 Winter Wand Fest announcements that I am excited about with honorable mention. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. I need to drink some water because I've been talking for I don't know how long. Um, I will see you in the next video. Please make sure to follow my Instagram. I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.